All right, so J. Cole just dropped a brand new surprise album called Might Delete Later. And one of the most talked about features on there is Central C with the track HYB. I think it's sick that he's on there, man. J. Cole's one of my favorite artists. And this is just another good way for the UK and the US to connect. And I really feel like the beat they used fits both their styles. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make beats just like it. And as always, if you like the drums and sounds that I use in the video, I'll leave a link to them in the description. And let's get straight into it. Okay, so the beat they're using is essentially a melodic guitar drill beat. So I'm gonna create something similar with the Ilya Efimov nylon guitar. We'll just leave the BPM at 140 for now. So the scale they're using is C sharp minor, and they're actually using a real common chord progression. And that progression is to just start on the one, which is the first note in the scale, and then you go to the sixth note, and then the fifth. You might see me use this progression a few times cause it's one of the most popular progressions in hip hop man. So as soon as you've got the bass notes, you can kind of set the vibe. And it's really just those notes repeated. So as long as you've got the bass notes here to start it, you can build chords on top of these. You can do that just by skipping every other note. So that would be a C sharp minor chord, but we could do something like invert this one and then bring some out. Yeah, I'm trying to create something similar, but I don't just want to copy the melody. So from here, I really just want to go by ear. So I like how that starts. And then we could do something similar here, just skipping every other note. We'll invert the middle one. We could switch it up a bit. Even just something as simple as that to start it, and then we could copy it, and then we could add some other notes just to spice it up a bit. Turn some of these higher ones down as well. We're gonna copy that again and then switch something up in this section. Let's try this. And then once you've got the melody, we could even just transpose it. So bring it up a couple. Like that could work. And then for the velocity, I'm keeping the whole thing kind of low because I don't want the guitar to be played too loud. See how you just get more of a chilled vibe compared to if it was all the way up here. Can add some reverb though. Some chorus always sounds nice on these beats as well. Just with the mix brought down. And I just like to add some compression to tame some of the peaks. I just get about up to 3 dB reduction. Then the next step is really simple, but I'm just gonna layer that guitar with a piano. And one of my favorite pianos to layer guitars with is this soft piano from Labs. And this is a free plugin too. So I'm just gonna take the MIDI, copy it in, turn it down. I might pitch this up an octave though. Actually, what I might do with this piano is just play some of the chords. So instead of playing the exact same melody, I'm gonna have the same chords, but they're not gonna be strummed out like the guitar. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Could also add a bit of half time to that with the mix down. Just gonna add a little bit of delay as well. We'll also just take out some low end. And I wanna keep the melody really simple, just like HYB, but I do want some sort of texture in there. Just to add some of my own style. So I've added Portal, we've got the Shift and Blur preset, and that sounds like this. But now I'm gonna render that, and with this, we're gonna pitch it up an octave. We're gonna wash it out with some reverb. And then filter it with an EQ. Maybe even some halftime on this, you know. Then we could just chop it and then fade it too. And this will just play in a couple sections just to make it a bit more interesting. And then with textures like this, I also just like to add something like pancake just to pan it between both sides. Okay, for the bass, we're gonna use two different ones. I'm gonna use a bass guitar and then I'm gonna use an 808 in some sections. I'm not just gonna copy the same sounds that they use in HYB, I'm gonna add my own style, but I've had this bass guitar sitting behind me for a long time now and I've never even used it in a video. So I'm gonna try to record something with that. All right, so I don't really know what the notes are. It should just be those three. So 
So that's not too bad, you know? Sounds nice and natural. I've just added an EQ to that just to roll off some high end. And then just another compressor. Again, just taming some peaks. Now in the actual track, there's a lot of noise in the melody and that just gives it that real sample vibe. So I'm gonna highlight everything, route it all to an empty insert. And then we could either use RC20 or something like Origin. So we could keep the noise right up. Alright, and for the melody, that's really all you need, but for this one, I do think vocals are gonna sound sick in it. They don't have that in PYM, but yeah, I feel like it's just gonna fit the vibe. Just something like that. Maybe this one too. Okay, and I don't want those vocals to be as present. So I have got a filter on there with the EQ. I've added Alter Boy just to pitch the formant up. It's gonna make it sound more high pitched without changing the key. I've got some delay with the time set to eight and then some reverb to wash it out. Sample sounding hard. So I think we could get some drums in now. Let's bring these up. Let's copy that. Then we're gonna add a second one. Copy that. Might even go back to the perfect count snare from our divine bundle for this, just for that main one, or the perfecter one. Okay, and then instead of a snare, I'm thinking we use a room. Try this tight room. Let's do the room instead. I think that blends a bit more. All right, now I just want a couple perks. Maybe something like that. Could just repeat that. Go to percussion. Yeah, let's grab something like this. We'll grab another one like this. And then I know the actual track doesn't have a fill in it, but I always like to add these fills, man. Even if it's just a short one. With a riser in there too. I'm just gonna grab a subtle perk repeat as well. I don't really want gunshots in this one. Instead of having a drum fill at the end of both eight bars, I'm gonna use the switch up riser from my divine bundle. All right, cool. So that should be it for perks. I haven't even got an 808 in there yet, man. So let's get that in now. For this one, I think I just want a nice clean sound. So I'm gonna go back to my Divine Bundle, Chaos Drum Kit, and use the backward 808, and then fade it out. So yeah, not trying to go too crazy with the pattern either. Could be changing my mind, but maybe this heat edit would sound sick. 
Love a nice clean one. I always change my mind, man, but I'm gonna run with that. And that should be enough drums now, so I'm just gonna start arranging it. Bring everything into the playlist, copy it out a few times. And then for the intro, I just wanna simplify the guitar. And then, yeah, we'll bring the live bass in here. With the count snare. We're even gonna bring the camera flash back for this one, man. Bring the piano in as well. There we go. All right, so we can leave the hook like that. And then in the verse, we could bring this back, get rid of the piano and the vocals. And we're gonna bring the live guitar in. All right, so we'll leave the kick out. Right, now we can bring the live bass back in. We'll just have it more like the bridge. Then we could cut everything here, take everything from the bridge, I think. Then I think I even want to pitch the guitar down an octave. So we could use Sound Shifter for this. We'll do it before the EQ. All right, man, so I've just copied that over. And right, let's have a listen from the beginning. Starting with the live bass. This might be the first time I've recorded bass guitar too. Mm. This was sounding hard. Real vibe it. We got a new A away pattern. I really love the mix of the live bass and the 808. Real simple melody. Wow, I think it turned out sick. And yeah, it's just back to the bridge. So if you're feeling this one, definitely let me know in the comments. And click up here if you want more videos just like it. Make sure you check out my drum kits in the description.